talked about basic harmony and some music theory aspects, I'd like to move on and talk about the rhythm and the structure of Irish tunes, starting with a reel, although reels and jigs do, say, do uh, share the same structure. Basically, what we're looking at is an A, A, B, B form, and each tune has an A section and a B section. There are some tunes that have more than two sections, and so you might have a C section or a D section, but for right now, we're just gonna focus on two-part tunes. And so each part is four bars. So the A section is four bars. And then usually in most jigs and, jigs and reels, the A section is repeated verbatim, and that's called a double reel or a double jig. And then there's a B section, which is also four bars and then repeated verbatim. And so the basic structure is A four bars, A four bars, B four bars, B four bars. And then you can repeat the entire form as many times as you want. Usually in a session context, you repeat it two or sometimes three times. For a reel, basically what I play is a boom chick pattern. So let me, let me just demonstrate that real quick. So what I'm doing hand by hand is I, I've just got my hand on a basic D major triad, both hands on a, on a D major triad. The right hand is just playing the off beats. And in the left hand, what I'm playing is what some of you might know as Alberti bass, which is. So it's one, five, three, five, one, five, three, five. And I'm talking scale degrees, not finger numbers. It would be the opposite in, in that case. So first degree, fifth degree, third, fifth. And you'll notice that when I'm playing it that way, the bass note keeps on shifting. I don't ever like to keep the bass note the same for two consecutive, two consecutive beats. So that's, a, that's an easy way for me to just keep it, keep it moving, keep, keep the bass line interesting. And if I'm voicing the chord differently, so say that's a very closed voicing, but say I'm voicing the chord like this instead, where I'm playing an open fifth and an octave in the left hand, and then filling out the right hand like that, then I would just do the same Alberti pattern just on, the, on these notes instead. That's the basic pattern for a reel. <clears throat> if you get to the end, of a section, sometimes I also like to just hit, hit the whole chord on one, so like. And so forth.